Yeah, you gotta love these in the car reviews. I literally have one open spot to the right of me and then there's another vehicle. To the left of me, there are three open spots. It is like the prairie. You can build a civilization over there. But what does this truck wanna do? This longer than normal pickup truck, it pulls up and starts to back up and angle in between me and the other car right here and comes this close to me. <laughs> You're allergic to these three spots? Ugh. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So today I'm going to try to persuade you into the brand new Frappuccino from the folks over at Starbucks. I am giving you the Midnight Mint Mocha. There you go. The Midnight Mint Mocha. Now this is coming on the heels of the Unicorn Frappuccino that was a huge success for Starbucks, but this is nothing close to that concoction. This is actually extra dark cocoa, coffee, ice, and milk. And what makes this unique, they actually add cooling mint sugar crystals for that mint effect. So yeah, there you go, right there. And you can see they actually layer it in the middle with some whipped cream as well as some whipped cream on top with some dark cocoa powder up on top. So now let's not waste any time. Let's go right into the tall version, $4.75. Hat adjustment. All right, wish me luck. Here we go, the Midnight Mocha Madness. No. That's three M's though. This is the Midnight Mint Mocha from Starbucks. Here we go. All right. So on that first taste, it is a very subtle mint flavor. Definitely a very dark chocolate flavor, which I enjoy. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to try this. I wasn't about to jump on the next big thing from uh, Starbucks, but they had to throw the dark chocolate option all up in my face noggin. So I definitely had to give it a shot because I love uh, a good dark chocolate, especially a little Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli, Peter Nardelli. I don't know. Second sip. Early returns on this are, it's okay. I mean, I'm not totally overwhelmed by it. It has a decent dark chocolate taste. And I do believe that the subtle mint flavor from those cooling mint uh, sugar crystals are probably gonna be a benefit to some who don't want too much mint, but to someone who wants more of a mint flavor who might like a chocolate mint ice cream, so to speak, this one is just a tad lower on the scale on that, but uh, still kind of refreshing. I mean, but again, $4.75 for the tall version. You know, you gotta break the bank a little bit to go uh, to Starbucks, so what are you gonna do? All right, so let's rate this. So on a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, uh, I'm going to give the brand new Triple M Midnight Mint Mocha a rating of 82. I'm going to give this an 82. It is a notch above 8 out of 10 for all you keeping score at home where I enjoy this. I am not 100% sure that I would invest a $5 bill on my next visit to Starbucks to get another one of these bad boys. But it's not bad. Not bad at all. And I bet when you mix it up a little bit, get the uh, whipped cream goodness all going on in there, swirling around. Check it out. Probably going to add a nice little touch to it, but uh, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. I'm not sure if you know this. That's social media. It gets the word of my channel, gets the word of me, everything you see here, out to the masses. So in closing, I want to thank you for joining me on this quick little video. I am not 100% calling this a midweek snack because A, I'm not sure when this is going to be launched, and B... I don't know. Bonus footage. All right, to bookend the intro to the outro about that guy in the truck next to me. Now, as soon as he did that, I gave him a couple seconds to reconsider. Maybe one day I'd do a favor for you. And I wanted to see if he was going to leave when he realized that if he opened the door, he needed a can opener. He chose to stay. I chose to leave. 
So this whole video was filmed in another parking spot where there is no one able to park next to me because there is a sidewalk there. And on the other sides, there's an empty spot where I put up about four or five cones. I don't travel with cones.